Welcome back. We are here looking at the US indexes. We'll start by looking at the S&P 500, the Dow Jones and the Nasdaq. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, October 14th, uh, 2020. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscriber button down here in the corner. Hit the like button. That really helps uh, by growing this channel and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. So um, the S&P 500, um, if you look at the major tech stocks over here, Google, Facebook, Apple, and so on, most of them are trading in the red, especially Apple at this point. And of course, that has a significant effect on this index. Um, and we also see that we are down around, uh, around nearly a percent today. So we are most likely going to head... Um, head towards the 50 moving average before we go higher. This move um, was entirely, entirely based on speculation of additional stimulus. There was no real reason for this massive move, and there is probably no reason to expect any stimulus before the United States election or several months after the election. Um, so at this point, if you look at the technical indicators, we are significantly overbought in the, uh, the S&P 500 at 70, uh, 76. The stochastic is uh, heading, uh, turning around, crossing the signal line, indicating that we are going lower. And at this point, I do believe that our destination is to the 50 moving average at 3,393. Uh, as that is most likely will head towards the round number of 3,400 and then bounce from there. That should be typical for this index to jump from the round numbers. Uh, MACD is also looking exhausting, is about to go and turn around and we hit the top of the Bollinger Band. So everything is indicating that we are going lower. Um, 50 moving average would be a good guess and uh, break it down below the 50 moving average opens the door to the 100 moving average at 3,272. No reason to expect this market to go significantly higher from here. Only thing that really can push this market higher is additional stimulus, which is highly unlikely at this point. If we look at the Dow Jones, we can see that the Dow Jones has a gap down and then we also have fallen, uh, well, not significantly, uh, uh, minus 0 0.4 at this point. So um, at, at this point, we are significantly overbought in the Dow Jones. We are at 87, not 78, and the stochastic is um, crossing the signal line and the MACD will follow soon, probably on well, Thursday or Friday we'll cross the signal line here and the bullet band will head towards this 20 uh, moving averages average if we break down from here most likely 20 moving average exponential moving average is this one at uh, 28,000 uh, 50 moving average just underneath at 27,892 additional breakdown from here will open the door all the way towards the 27,000 level at 100 moving average it's no reason to expect this market to go higher without any stimulus, and of course that is not coming. So, Nasdaq. Nasdaq has um, broken down. Uh, we are uh, minus 0 0.3 at this point, so not a significant breakdown, but as you can see, most of the tech stocks uh, are down at this point, so expect this market to continue because uh, if you look at the um, technical uh, analysis for the tech stocks, most of these stocks are exhausted at the moment, are overbought, and are already in red. So there will be additional downsides in, uh, in the price of these stocks in the next coming days, and that will also pull, especially the NASDAQ, to lower levels. There's no reason for this massive uh, jump to the upside um, uh, fairly ridiculous at this at this point because it was purely based on speculation of of um, of additional stimulus that is not going to come. We are overbought at seventy four. The stochastic is about to turn around and not the uh, MACD at this point is quite far away. So probably on 
um, first thing on Friday, we'll see the MACD you know, closing on the signal line. And the, uh, we are way over the bullish buy in, in this thing, the indication we are way overbought as well. So we will most likely fall uh, towards the 50 moving average at 11,438. Additional fall from there will open the door for the 100 moving average at 10,800. Maybe, but yes, anything can happen at this point. Uh, we're in an uh, election um, where a lot of bad news is uh, thrown out every single day. We can just see what happened when Donald Trump, if you look at that candlestick there, that is one bad tweet from Donald Trump. So several bad tweets from Donald Trump may see this market fall significantly as we are also overbought at this point. So hope you find this video helpful. You're welcome to subscribe to our channel by hitting the subscriber button down here in the corner. Hit the like button because that really helps this channel uh, grow and the uh, bell button if you want to see our newest videos. Good luck and happy trading.